for all of its storytelling, there's always been something missing in Hollywood. And that is a centralized place where people could come and really immerse themselves in movie magic from small art house films to big popcorn flicks. Here you can stand among the, the head from Alien, uh, the spaceship from 2001, a space odyssey. The museum took 12 years to build. And during that time, a lot changed in Hollywood. There was a reckoning with racial diversity and there was the Me Too movement. And as part of this museum, there is an emphasis um, in a number of ways on artists who have been a part of the diverse history of Hollywood, even if they haven't had such a big role. We spoke with the president of the Academy and the chief curator of the museum. Take a listen. The journey has been even longer than the last 10 years, because when the original founders of the Academy uh, in, uh, decided that they uh, one of their goals, in addition to establishing the Academy Awards, is to open a museum of motion pictures. It only took us a century. <laughs> this is also why we would like to embrace the many stories of cinema in our exhibition stories of cinema to be inclusive and diverse. We really want for everybody to see themselves somewhere in this museum and to connect with stories or objects that they can see and find here. The Motion Picture Academy hopes that this museum becomes a landmark thanks in large part to the large sphere on the back of the building that holds a 1,000-person theater. The building has a nickname already. It's from Star Wars, the Death Star. <laughs>